While watching a Disney movie, viewers may wonder why some animated characters seem so familiar. Animation teams will often look to real-life famous faces to assist in etching an unforgettable character. Here are 10 Disney characters inspired by real-life people you'd never expect. I'm not worthless, and I don't have fleas. Aladdin from Aladdin. 1992's Aladdin included two actors who inspired characters in the film. Robin Williams is one of the actors, and of course, the most obvious one. The animators were inspired by the comedian's mannerisms, facial features, and boisterous attitude to create the genie. Genie of the Lamp! Since Williams voiced the character, it is not nearly as surprising as who inspired the appearance of Aladdin. Aladdin! Hello Aladdin, nice to have you on the show. Initially, animators envisioned Michael J. Fox, but realized he just didn't have the same sex appeal. It was then Tom Cruise who the animators used to base their titular character. Character. Cruise, being the biggest movie star at the time, may have been the reason Disney wanted to use his likeness for their film. Along with his facial features, Aladdin also began taking on certain characteristics of Cruise and the characters for which he was known. Smooth, cool, confident. Giving Aladdin just enough cockiness and charm to win over children and adults alike. Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Actress, writer, and producer Sherry Stoner was used as a reference for the animators when drawing Ariel from The Little Mermaid. Stoner previously worked with Disney as a screenwriter for their animated shows, including Chip and Dale and Rescue Rangers. Filmmakers used her body movements and mannerisms to visualize realistic flow for Ariel, but animators used another actress to base Ariel's face on, Alyssa Milano. As a child and teen actress on the 1980s sitcom Who's the Boss, Milano's teen dream persona and stunning face was the ideal choice to create a Disney-worthy princess. Milano had no idea she was the inspiration while the film was being made, but was told when she hosted a special for the film on the Disney Channel upon its release in 1989. You belong to me. Ursula from The Little Mermaid. Ariel is not the only character to be based on a famous performer. Ursula, the evil sea witch who makes young Ariel an offer she can't refuse, was modeled after Divine. The late actor, singer, and drag queen was such a vibrant character, Disney animators looked to the performer to create the wicked villain. My poor little poopsies. <sighs> Divine, whose real name was Harris Glenn Milstead, exploded onto the movie scene in the 1970s with John Waters' film Pink Flamingos, and continued working with the director until 1988 with Hairspray. Ursula has such a resemblance to the late Divine, it is almost surprising that the family-friendly company would choose to model a character after the star of Pink Flamingos. Unfortunately, Divine never saw the final product, passing away one year before the film's release. I used to design for gods. Edna Mode from The Incredibles. The diminutive stylist of the superhero family The Incredibles, Edna Mode. <laughs> Edna Mode is a hilarious and wacky character, but while viewers may assume she's sprouted from the vivid imagination of Pixar animators, she is actually based on real-life stylist Edith Head, the legendary costume designer who won eight Academy Awards for films including All About Eve, Roman Holiday, and The Sting. Head had an equally small stature as her animated facsimile, standing at just over five feet. Just as Edna sported memorable Coke bottle glasses, Head originated the look. While those who were familiar with Edith Head may have easily guessed Edna Mode was an obvious reference to her, others may have assumed Edna was just another comical Pixar creation. My God, pull oh, yourself together! Chernabog from Fantasia. To create the demon Chernabog for 1940s Fantasia, animators wanted to use an equally menacing presence to provide inspiration for a character who would terrify children for generations. To create a truly frightening demon, Disney looked no further than Bela Lugosi, the actor known for his depiction of Bram Stoker's Dracula in the 1931 film Dracula. While Lugosi's blood-sucking villain, for which he is best known, may have been chilling, not all the animators were completely set on him. After the actor completed his modeling session for Chernabog, the animators went a step further and required requested fellow animator Wilfred Jackson to model shirtless and act some of the demon scenes. In the end, the character was inspired by two performers, which may not have satisfied Lugosi's much speculated ego. Magic mirror on the wall, who is the fairest one of all? The Evil Queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs. If the devastatingly impressive eyebrows of the Evil Queen from Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs may seem familiar in another iconic non-animated person, it is because animators used actress Joan Crawford as a template for Snow White's hateful stepmother. Along with her arched eyebrows, the Evil Queen also resembles the legendary actress with deep-set dreamy eyes, a strong jawline, and intimidating personality. Greta Garbo and Marlene Dietrich were two more actresses who shared a resemblance to Snow White's nemesis, but most of what made the Evil Queen stemmed from the unyielding force of nature 
teacher that was Joan Crawford. She's a wonderful nurse, although father says... Girls talk too much. <laughs> yes. Peter Pan from Peter Pan. Peter Pan is the brainchild of novelist J.M. Barry. While his characteristics may have already been decided long before Disney took on the character, his mannerisms and appearance were up to the animators to produce. Bobby Driscoll was a child actor in the 1940s who has the impressive distinction of becoming the first actor Walt Disney put under contract. Along with starring in the now racially insensitive film Song of the South, he was also the basis for Peter Pan's appearance in the 1953 film. Driscoll had a tough life, like many child actors, delving into heavy drug use. He died of heart failure at the age of 31 in 1960. While Driscoll's life and death were a tragedy, his place in the Disney legacy remains untouched as the boy who never wanted to grow up. Anita, darling. Cruella de Vil from 101 Dalmatians Cruella de Vil is an enduring Disney villain, with her oversized fur coat, roaring cackle, <laughs> and penchant for puppy napping. The inspiration for the cold-hearted Cruella was actress Tallulah Bankhead. Tallulah was a stage actress, but did work in film and television, with Alfred Hitchcock's Lifeboat being her most notable credit. She was known for her outrageous temperament and glamorous style. Along with her mannerisms, filmmakers also used the actress's general personality. Though Bankhead was not an animal abuser, her detached demeanor was ideal for the villain. Bankhead may have been the primary inspiration for Cruella de Vil, but she was not the actress who provided the character's voice. That job went to Betty Lou Gerson, who did her her own interpretation of Bankhead's voice. The Vultures from The Jungle Book For 1967's The Jungle Book, filmmakers pulled from music icons to develop a jungle of hip musician animals. While King Louie is strongly inspired by Louis Armstrong, Disney decided to go with Louis Prima to voice the orangutan, partly to avoid any possible racism issues that may arise from hiring an African-American man to play a primate. Another notable inspiration in The Jungle Book is the Vultures, who were heavily influenced by the Beatles. The mop tops and Liverpool accents are more than just a coincidence. The Beatles themselves were originally supposed to voice the four birds, but with a busy Fab Four schedule and John Lennon deciding against it, it didn't work out. What remains is a similar musical quartet of the Vulture variety. And if I didn't know better, I'd think you had feelings for this monster. He's no monster, Gaston. You are. Belle from Beauty and the Beast. For 1991's Beauty and the Beast, screenwriter Linda Wolverton based Belle's personality on Katherine Hepburn's portrayal of Joe Marsh in the 1933 adaptation of Little Women. Hepburn's strong and intelligent representation of a classic literary character was exactly what Wolverton wanted to see in Belle. As for Belle's appearance, the animators were inspired by a handful of actresses, including Jenny Garth, Natalie Wood, Grace Kelly, and Elizabeth Taylor, and even characters Dorothy Gale from The Wizard of Oz and Rhea Von Trapp from The Sound of Music. Belle's voice actor Paige O'Hara found Belle to be too perfect, but animators continued to tweak the character and used Sherry Stoner as a live-action reference, the same performer who inspired the body movements of Ariel in The Little Mermaid. In the case of Belle, a single actor or character was not enough to create an unforgettable Disney princess. What do you think of our list? Are there any animated characters based on real people we forgot? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to share this video with your friends and subscribe to the Screen Rant YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.